Hello and welcome to another video. So this will be video number three and in this video I want to explain the whole idea of radiance, radian measure. So when you first start dealing with angles you'll be talking a lot about degrees but as you go higher in math you start realizing that there's another way to measure angles and it's called the radian measure and that's what I want to explain in this video. And we'll take some examples converting between degrees and radians, okay? So we go from degrees to radians or from radians to degrees. But firstly, let's understand what it means to have a radian measure, okay? So I have an imperfect circle here. Well, almost all circles are imperfect. Well, all circles are imperfect, okay? Because pi never ends. So, and this is where the problem starts. Um, typically, you would say that if you go around a circle, what you have is called a circumference, okay? Um, we just want to try and answer this question. Just imagine in your mind, or you can try it on a piece of paper, or just try it with something. If you have a circle, and you know what the radius is, and you want to place the radius, so you take this radius, and you want to place it along the circumference of the circle. So you place this radius from here to here, so let's say it's about... Um, seven or eight inches and then you place it here seven inches seven how many times do you think you can place this radius around the circle that's what you call a radian measure how much of the radius is in the arc that is formed so let's say I have a circle here okay typically I would say oh I want to measure this angle and I would measure it in degrees but there's another way to measure how wide this is. You could as well say, how much of the radius can I place here? Is it just one radius or more than one radius? If it is exactly one radius, then you say the measure of the angle is one radian. Now, if it is just more than one, then it's one point something radians, okay? So let's experiment with our minds, okay? You put one radius here, another one, another one. It looks like it's going to be just slightly more than three of them. Okay, so how many radii will you get just going from here to here in a semicircle? Well, it's slightly more than three. You see that slightly more than three is what we call pi. Okay, so it's actually, in reality, the number of radii you're going to get in a semicircle is 3.141 blah, blah. Blah, and it keeps going and we just say it's pi and that's why this angle here is called pi in a semicircle so we say that if you go 180 degrees what you have just gone is pi radians that is the number of the radius you'll be able to place along the circumference is going to be 3.14, just slightly above 3. And if you do the entire thing, it's going to be slightly more than 6. You can do this, place this here six times, like that. Ooh, that's going to be 6.282, and you keep going like that. So, if you do 360 degrees, the number of times you can place the radius will be just 2 pi. So that's why the formula for the perimeter of a circle or the circumference of a circle is 2 pi r, where this r is the number, is the radius, okay? But we can say that 360 degrees is 2 pi radians, or we can say 180 degrees is pi radians. It's simply the number of radii you can place along the arc length, okay? If you sweep a complete cycle, then it's gonna be two times pi. If it's just Half of it, it's going to be 180 degrees in terms of degrees, but in terms of radians, you're just going to have pi, which is 3.14. And that's the whole idea of degree measure and radian measure. And you see, this relationship is the safest way for you to convert radians to degrees. Just always know this, that 180 degrees is pi radians. Okay? So if they give you any angle and you, they say, express this in radians just say okay um what is the angle and to, you know how we do ratios just do ratios and you'll always be fine this is what always helps me and i'm fine so 
The question has been answered. How many times can the radius of a circle be placed around it? Well, it's going to be 6 point whatever, 2 pi, 2 pi times. So just know what pi is and then multiply that by 2 and that's the number of times the radius can be placed around the circle. So now that you understand what degree is and what radians is, then why don't we just do some calculations. Take some examples and convert from degrees to radians or from radians to degrees. So this is the first example. Convert 120 degrees to radians. Okay. Now, remember that all you need to remember all the time is 180 degrees is pi radians. 180 degrees is pi radians. And this is how I say it. Some people have the formula telling you multiply by this, and some students have a hard time remembering that. But if I remember this, I know where to go from here. So what I tell myself is 180 degrees equals pi radians. What is one degree? Well, what did I do to 180 to get 1? I divided it by 180. So I have to divide both sides by 180 degrees. So I have pi over 180 degrees radians. Okay? You don't have to put the degrees, but again, because we're dealing with degrees. So now, the angle that I have is 120 degrees. 120 degrees. I multiplied this by 120. That's how I got 120 degrees. So I have to multiply this two by 120. So that's 120 um, multiplied by pi over 180 degrees. That's the number of radians I have. And that's it. Well, the greatest common factor of 120 and 180 is, or you can rewrite it. Some people like rewriting it this way. 180, and then they put pi here. Okay? If you do that, this is going to give you 2 over 3 pi radians. Okay? Or 2 pi over 3, that's a nice way to write it. Let me write it that way because that's the most uh, common way to write it. 2 pi over 3. So, for 225, the same process. I have this written. After a while, you don't need to write this. You just need to know this is the shortcut, which is what most people would do, is to say, if I'm converting 225 degrees to radians, I'm just going to say that 225 degrees is equal to 225 multiplied by pi over 100. Or they divide this by 180, okay? That's all we need to do, 180 degrees radians, okay? And this tells me I'm going to find a number that divides 225 and also divide 180. But I have to think of the largest number. See, because I've done this often, I know that this is 45 degrees. So how many 45 degrees will be in 180? That's 90, 90, that's 4. So I know I'm going to have 4 in the denominator as part of my answer. How many, how many will I, 45s will I get in 225? That's 180 plus another 45, so that's going to be 5. So this is going to be 5 pi over 4 radians. And that's my answer. So this is very simple, converting. In order to convert degrees to radians, just multiply the degree angle you're given by pi over 180 degrees. Now we're going to do the reverse. We're going to move things from radians to degrees. And all we have to do is to multiply whatever radian measure we have by the reciprocal of this, which will now be 180 over pi. So the first question I have is pi over 6 radians. We want to convert that into degrees. Okay? So you, you can imagine that if it's pi over 6, remember, if you go from here to here is pi. If you have to divide this whole trip into 6, um, your angle must be somewhere here, like a small angle. That's what you're dealing with, okay? So just know that the whole thing is from here to here is pi. The whole thing is 2 pi. If you have pi over 6, then your trip is just at the beginning. So you must be dealing with a very small angle. Not very small, but a small angle, okay? So pi over 6 radians to degrees. Remember what I said. You just do the opposite of what we did before. Pi over 6 radians can be converted to degrees by writing pi over 6 and multiplying, instead of multiplying by pi over 180 degrees, you, you flip it, it becomes 180 degrees divided by pi. That's it. So some people don't use this, they just write degrees in words, but I like writing this degree symbol 
Okay, so at this point, what I have is this pi cancels this pi out, and what I have left is 180 degrees divided by 6, and that gives me what? Mm -hmm. 30 degrees. So that's basically what you get in this case. Okay, so um, that's it. Let's take this, let's take the second one. For the second one, it's 11 pi over 3. And another way, I just know, because remember I told you that pi is the same as 180 degrees. I don't even do this kind of multiplication. I just rewrite it. I just write this as 11 times 180 degrees, because I know pi is 180 degrees, and I divide it by 3. Boy. So I'm just going to have 11 multiplied by 60, which is equal to 660 degrees. So you might have a question. How can an angle be even greater than going around a circle? Well, you just keep going. So after you get 360 degrees, if the angle is greater than 360, you keep going, you make another 360, okay, until you get there. In my next video, I'm going to talk about um, reference angle and some other things you need to know about trigonometry. So far, the purpose of this video was to show you that angles can be measured in radians or in degrees. If they're measured in degrees, you're already used to that. If it's in radians, you're just counting the number of the radius that you can place along the length of that arc. And in another video, we're going to do more calculations using radians. I hope you learned something in this video. If you did, leave your comment down below and like this video. And make sure you subscribe if you're not. I'll see you in the next video. Don't stop learning, because those who stop learning, stop living. Bye-bye.